great, great, great two. All right, let's have our last subject, our music and art. So for our music, we are going to learn about sound, sources of sound. So this one, we can hear sound from the telephone, but we can't hear any sound from the flower. We can also hear a sound coming from the rooster, but here no sound at all. This one, we can hear sound from this musical instrument, but there's no sound. This one, yeah, this one is a vacuum cleaner. We can hear sound from this one. And then here, nope, nope. Yo-yo, is there a sound? I think when you do like this, right? And then this one, of course, there's a sound. And this one from the musical in from violin it produces sound okay what is sound okay sound is produced when something vibrates or moves back and forth some vibrations are strong and others are weak some comes from different sources it comes from winds, sounds coming from the winds, sounds coming from the waves, sounds coming from swaying of trees, and of course, the sounds coming from animals, and the sounds made by a machine, okay? Or the means of transportation, and many more, and others, sounds coming from the people, okay? You can hear different sounds at home. Also in your school, you can hear. Of course, in the streets, in the market, in the playground, and many other places. You can hear a lot of sounds. And on, on each sound, you can replicate it. You can duplicate or you can respond to different sources of sound. If you hear the, the music, if you hear some sound, you respond, ah, it's too loud, okay? Or you can respond by, oh, it's a nice song. And then you sing with the song. Or you move your body, okay? So sound can produce using your voice, using the, your body. We can make a lot of sound using our body. And of course, the objects, okay? So here are the sources of sound like from the wind the waves the trees animals the transportation and other objects so these are the sources of sounds now open your book open it on page 72 open your book on page 72 and you are going to re need a crayon red crayon Please check the objects that make sound. This one makes sound? Put a check if yes. If not, do not do anything. This one, the boss. Yes or no? What about the airplane? What about the whistle? The cow? Books? And the train? Okay? So, if you're done, proceed to page 75. So, this one, we are going to identify the sound maker in each picture, right? If it is the sound coming from animal sounds, musical sounds, in our human-made sounds, or a natural sounds, okay? So, this one, the choices are this. I will underline animal sounds musical instruments human made sounds or natural sounds when it's human made it means um the object is made by human okay so this one these sounds if you produce these sounds are these animal musical human made or natural now let's have the number two Okay, the fireworks, the patrol car, 
and is it animal sound musical instrument human made or natural please write your answer okay next this one we have the horse the rooster the frog and the a pig okay so go is it a animal sound musical instrument human made or natural okay now number four okay volcano eruption the th the wind and the lightning and thunder thunder okay is it animal sound musical or human made or natural so pause the video if you are not yet done those who are finished let's proceed with our oh yeah for your 72 and 75 for you okay let's proceed with our arts and in our arts we have a nature prints it means the the object that we're gonna use is coming from nature so our topic is about print making it is the art of transferring design or picture by means of applying ink or paint to an object and pressing it on paper board cloth or wood or other materials for example i have here the object and then i'm gonna put paint okay it's called printmaking i'm gonna put paint and after that i'm gonna press it sa paper or sa board and it's called print making so many good materials from nature can be used to make wonderful prints so we can use tomato we can use what else um tomato okra okay there's a nice design from nature print is the design or image created in printmaking the image that you made in printmaking is called print all right and rhythm is created by repeating the same lines or the same shapes or patterns colors or other art elements to produce the look or feel of movement and the last one press print is done by dipping the object in paint and pressing it onto paper to transfer the design okay so press print and tawag done so this one we have a um print making now this one is uh okra i think this one is okra it, you can do the design all over again or you can use the alternating okay so this one is the repeated mo motif this one is alternated okay now let's answer first this objects coming from blank the choices are print making nature rhythm print or press print objects from blank are good materials for print making choose your answer here next number two a design or image transferred to a surface such as paper and cloth is called blank next number three the art process of transferring a design or picture by means of applying ink or paint to an object and pressing it on paper cloth or other materials is known as blank next number four repeating the same lines or the patterns to produce the look or feel of movement is known as blank and number five press blank is done by dipping the object in paint and pressing it onto paper 
to transfer the design. So, be, okay, if you're not yet done, pause the video. Let's proceed to art our artwork. So, it's on page 173 and we are gonna do the print making or, yeah, the press print. So, you can use, this one is banana stock print, but you can use tomato also. You can use the calamansi, just cut it first, okay? When you cut the calamansi, color it, put a color, and then press it on the paper, okay? So, we have here, I'm just gonna give you some choices. Now, not only the banana stock, you can use banana stock if, if you want, the calamansi, tomato, what else? Okra, yeah, okra, you can use that also, just one. Okay, banana stalks, paper, the watercolor or the paint, towel or tissue para hindi dumume, and of course, the sheets of old paper para sa inyong working area. So, cover your workspace with old newspaper, and then squeeze amount of paint sa inyong um, palette, and then dip the cut of the banana or the, the what's this? the calamansi or okra or tomato cut it and then wipe the moisture if it is watery or the there's a water yeah the moisture of your materials yung fruit nyo or or banana or calamansi wipe it first and then after wiping it with your tissue now it's time to what Paint, press the banana stock with paint on, put it on, press it on the paper. Okay, so you can make your whatever design that you like, okay? And then, dry it, take a picture of your work, and send it in our class dojo, alright? So for your assignment, take a picture of your music, what is the music nga assignment? 72 and 75 Mape book 72, 75 And page 172 here And then your artwork also Send it in our class dojo Again, the pages in our mapes Page 72, page 75 And page 172 Send it in our class dojo also And of course your artwork and see you, that's all everyone, and see you tomorrow. Bye guys!